What's going on, DFS Army? It's Craig Bennett here. Going to talk about the NBA Research Station and kind of give you a quick overview tutorial of how to use it, what to look for, uh, some information about it, of changes that we've made from last year uh, that I think that are important And if you're having trouble using it. Uh, one thing you'll notice that we just added to this latest version, um, we brought back the buttons here. Now, before that, if you look down in the, in the bottom left-hand corner here, you have both DraftKings and FanDuel tabs. So depending on if you want FanDuel or DraftKings, uh, here's the tabs for these. Uh, just takes you either one of them. And you can find this research station under the NBA tab. Scroll over, research station. We'll pull this up. Um, and before we go into this a little bit further, um, again, this is the web version. The web version updates every 30 minutes. So that's something that we didn't have last year in the old research station. It had to be updated automatically. Um, the new research station actually pulls in the minutes here. You see the minutes tab and the projections straight from the domination station. So straight from my model, it will pull these in and make these updates uh, automatically. Um, and on the web version, it's 30 minutes. Now I'll show you how we can download this and the download version um, actually happens every five minutes and you can hit a button and refresh it at any time. And if you don't hit the button, it'll automatically download 30 minutes or upload 30 minutes. Um, but if you hit this button that I'll show you, it'll do it every five minutes. And if you download the research station to your desktop, it is actually good for the entire month until we change out the link and then you'll need to download a new one. So that's something as well. So once you download it, you're good for the month. It'll pull those uh, data down for you and do the updates, um, which is really nice to have. Again, this is just much better than we had in the past and the data is gonna be way more relevant. Um, so first, let me get into this. Down here in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see a couple buttons. Um, this bottom right-hand corner just kind of puts uh, the research station in a full size mode. So it'll bring up, um, it'll access your OneDrive here and it'll pull it up. It's still online, it's Excel online. So if you're having some issues um, with the web version and maybe it's you know not working as fast as you would like, uh, or if you're having some issues, maybe your internet connection is not that great, I recommend going over here and pulling it up into the Excel online mode, which again, will you know it look identical but again it's an excel online mode and to get to that again back here on the web version it's the bottom right hand corner it says view full size workbook that puts it in to the excel online so uh, if you are using it, i kind of recommend that if you're doing online um, and you don't want to download it now i'm going to show you real quick before i go into everything um, the second button you want to notice down here is the first one and it's the download button so you want to download the research station, come down here to your downloads. And again, once you have this download and it's on your desktop, it will update. You don't need to get downloaded a bunch of times. It is good for the month until we change the link. So if we pull this open and open up the research station in Excel, what you need to do is up here in the top uh, middle, Make sure you hit enable editing. And all that is doing is making sure you have access to that CSV that's pulling down the data. So enable the content. And now this will update again every 30 minutes if you don't do anything. Now in the background, it's gonna update every five minutes, but to get the latest data, as I make uh, adjustments to um, the domination station, I mean, to the model which updates the domination station, as we get updates to minutes and projections, um, this will update. And again, this wasn't like this last year, so it makes the research station way more relevant. And I highly recommend, um, if you're playing DFS, to, to do it on a desktop anyways, because it's a lot easier to deal with this, um, and especially having the Excel version. Uh, but if you come up here to the Data tab, you'll see this button called Refresh All. So you can hit this as many times as you want, and it's gonna refresh all the data but it is gonna be pulling new data in every five minutes on the Excel uh, download version. So if you want the one that updates all the time every five minutes, I highly recommend using the Excel download. And again, you can just come up here and hit 
refresh all and it will refresh everything every five minutes if you don't touch anything at all here on the excel version it will basically uh just update every 30 minutes on its own it'll, it'll, you don't have to hit anything so um, that is the excel version um, i'll just go back to the online version because i think a lot of people are going to use this just to go through and talk um, about the different tabs and whatnot so wegner was able to add these buttons in um, some people like them from the last uh, research station that we had and make it a little bit easier even though the filters work just just as well and are easy some people like the buttons so um, you know over here at dfs army we're going to listen to your feedback uh, and give you what you want so you can click on center position here and it'll filter all the centers if you want to click uh, and add power forwards as well just hit control power forwards and then now you got both of them centers and power forwards here if you want to clear it up here in the right hand corner of the position just hit that and it'll clear them all now if you want centers and you want to come over here and decide okay i only want to see the centers from atlanta and i hit control indiana and houston i can do that and it's going to show me the centers that are in play for those three teams same can be said for the time as well um, it just is going to continue to filter as, as much as you want to filter it so um, again if you want to clear this out you hit clear now it's just going to go back to centers uh, if i want to clear this out uh, i got everything back there and again if i just want to see houston just come click the team there's houston it's going to give me all the houston players so extremely e easy clear that back out um, again if we walk through this thing again here's the dfs army grades that we have set up uh zero to 100 100 being the best um you know the dvb percentage that we have you know green's better you want you want the the, the higher dvp the better um, got number of rest days the time they're playing um, and then here in today's projections, <clears throat> so the DK projection, um, and again, this is the issue I feel like we had last year with the research station was depending on how many times we had to manually update it, they might not have matched. Well, this projection DK um, will match the domination station um, once it does its update of every five minutes or 30 minutes. Like it might not match directly if you're on online because it has a 30 minute update. Now, if you put on Excel, Excel version, like I talked about before, that is when you are going to get the most up to date because it's every five minutes. And that's why I recommend if you're going to use the research station, use it in Excel from downloading it. Um, and what's nice is you only have to download it once. So same thing with minutes. It'll do the same thing as guys get pulled out and scratches and I update the model with that. It'll pull them out and it'll update everything into the research station. So now if you come over here against value, uh, it's basically you're just looking for, it's just a calculation of their salary and their DraftKings points and it'll get a value. So what you're looking for, you know, for value plays, if you want to search this, the highest, the higher value, the better. Um, <clears throat> fancy point per minute, again, it's very self-explanatory. Um, now the floor and ceiling here. The floor and the ceiling actually come from the DFS Army sim model, and I will talk about that a little bit later. But the sim model basically is uh, taking some projections that we have and running those games 4,000 times and then giving you an average uh, of those simulation of games of 4,000 times. So that is where the floor and ceiling come in. Now, I bring this up because I've talked about this in the past. If you want to uh, go to the research or the domination station, and you might pick out 10 guys that you like to have a ceiling game. And you don't know how to give them a ceiling projection. Well, you can come into the research station and say, okay, well, the median projection that we have for Luka Doncic is 57. Well, I think he's going to have a ceiling game. Let me put 78 in there. Now, I highly recommend going to the sim model for this because I like the 75th percentile. Um, it's just not quite as aggressive and I'll get there when you go to the sim model But just for an example if you want a quick ceiling on a guy This is where you can find the ceiling projection. You don't have to kind of guess at it um, Again coming over to full season season stats. Uh, we've adjusted it is now this season We're not accounting anything from preseason or last year. It is all this season um, So all the usage rates are from this season minutes per game are from this season um, average fantasy per minutes are from this season. All these stats are from this season. Uh, one of the, the favorite sections here is who's hot. So basically it's uh, what was their fantasy points last game. As you can see, Durant had that monster game in double overtime. Um, and then this is the three game versus 10 game average. If you want to see that and see uh, who's trending up that way. And then we have 
the three GFP is a three game average, um, three game value. If you want to see what the value they're doing over the last three games, five game and then 10 game. So um, again, this is from this year. And as you can, they can see this will update again automatically as that data gets put in, which is a, a fantastic thing for the research stations. Probably the one place I look at the most in the research station, just so I can kind of see uh, where are they turning up real quick when it comes to fantasy points? So uh, the who's hot section is probably my favorite. Um, heading over here, clock watch again, same thing, but it's just talking about minutes. You know, the minutes last game, minutes three versus 10, three, five, and 10 games. So you can kind of see if their minutes are turning up or turning down, uh, which is, again, very useful uh, in fantasy as well. Um, again, Vegas totals. This automatically updates as we get Vegas. You might see in here at times where there's a team that has – no, uh, it's blank or it's just, that just means that there's no Vegas total out. If you're checking this early in the morning, uh, Vegas might not have a total out because they're waiting on injury news or something. And if that happens, the only reason that's happening is because we don't have a total. So, uh, don't freak out, say it's broke or anything like that. It's just, there's no Vegas total out. It will update as we get Vegas totals. So, um, the thing's not broke. It's just, we don't have the data yet. Again, pace of play is just how many possessions that they're doing in game. So you can kind of see if it's a pace up spot, if it's a pace down spot, um, information like that. I headed over here, uh, the cash and the GPP, uh, just how consistent they are. Uh, you know, the cash target you're looking for for 6X, uh, the GPP target for 7X, um, and then, you know, it's basically self-explanatory what you're looking for out of them to hit that. Um, and then the projected difference of you know, from what they're projected to what they're actually going to hit, uh, you know, so that's very useful as well. I think um, I prefer to come over here and look more at the consistency. And this is the consistency that they're hitting, say, um, an 8x percentage for Embiid at his current salary, you know, what percentage he's having. So in cash games, we're looking for 6x around that, uh, 7x. So these are the two columns that are going to be extremely important when looking to look at players. Um, how consistently percentage are these guys going to hit this number? So if we click on this and we look at, uh, we come down, we're looking at, you know, Porter Jr. If he plays at 50% at his current price that he's hit, that he hit that Alec Burks, Seth Curry, Thad Young. Uh, you're looking for guys like this that are, you know, high in the six and seven X there's time Lord down there. Um, th this is not a, uh, a stat that you should only look at. And like, that's, that's one thing I think people struggle with is just your focus too much on one stat. And this is all great information, but it's not something that you should be, uh, that you should be looking at just in, you know, well, he said that, you know, he was showing he was a certain percentage at this. No, don't use that. You got to use everything. This is just more of like a reference base to kind of see if there's any. Uh, I look this for, you know, value guys that are popping. Uh, anything that, that comes to that take of, uh, you know, not one. There's not one thing in here that I look at that's that that's going to dictate who I'm going to pick in a given slate. Um, it's just all information. And I'm going to use it to make my decisions, but I'm not going to just use one determining factor to say this is the perfect guy because this is what this this said. Um, use it again. It's for research. You're using it to uh, maybe solidify a pick you had and wonder how, you know, if I really like that young, well, how often is he going to hit that 6x mark? Um, then I can come here and look. And this is, again, uh, stats per game over the last, you know, two years um, an opponent's full stats per game here. So. Uh, again, this is, I'm sorry, this is for this year. We'll have to adjust this heading here, but it's just for this year, the, the full season stats per game. We'll adjust this. So it's, it's just for, uh, 2021, but as you can see, 14 games, 16 games, this is just what they've done this year. If you want to look at it, uh, everything that we'd have is done this year. So again, you have this for DraftKings. You got all your filters here for FanDuel. You got all your filters here. It's pretty self-explanatory. The big upgrades from this is the last research station is this is all automated. Um, you're going to get a faster automation if you download the research station in Excel format. Just for the fact that uh, it updates every five minutes and you can manually 
uh, push to get that update once the update's there in five minutes. Now you can hit that button all you want to uh, that I showed you, but you're not going to get the latest data for five minutes. That is when the polling is set for it. Um, and that's how I recommend if you're going to use the research station is to actually download it. If you don't and you just want to use this version, just realize that I might make a bunch of updates with injury news that we get. Um, and this is not going to be updated for about 30 minutes. So if you're, I don't think the research station is something you should be really focused on the last hour for lock. Anyways, this is something to, you know, drink your cup of coffee in the morning, kind of look at some plays, see who's hot. You know, like I said, that's, that's probably my favorite, favorite section to look at in the research station is just seeing who's hot. You know, I want to see, uh, you know, Trey young has been on a tear lately, you know, looking at him. Clint Capella has been on a massive tear, if you see that. You know, Brogdon's been down a little bit. Paul George's been down a little bit. So I want to see this. You know, Siakam's been down a ton. So if you're looking at guys and you're looking at the projection, I'm like, well, man, these guys are, are not performing well, you know. LaMelo Ball's been down his at three for ten. Um, so this is, this is the section that I'm looking at to kind of see uh, if I'm going to take a guy out of my pool or to maybe – further investigate why his stats are what they are but uh again the last hour of lock you shouldn't be in here trying to get in the research station anyways this is more research throughout the day however it updates you'll have it in the morning as projections get put in that's the one thing we're trying to do here is automate everything um and west did a fantastic job of getting this to the point where it is all automated. And I love that I love you can download the research station on your desktop and still have it automated. Um, and I can keep that research station uh, Excel document on my desktop and know that it's going to be updated. Uh, and I can just go in there and hit uh, refresh all and I will get the latest information, which is the way to go, in my opinion. So with that, um, I'm Craig Bennett, aka Cash Cake, here for a NBA research tutorial. I hope that helps out. And if you have any questions, uh, please drop in and ask us. And I hope this helps.